sex, drugs, money, murder, mafia, and stealing cars. What's up, people? Dobbs with Sprite here, and welcome to another ranking video. Now, if you guys wanted to vote for this, and a lot of you would ask me about it, and a few people will ask me all during the stream on uh, what is really my favourite Grand Theft Auto game. And I don't talk about Grand Theft Auto because it's not a game that I really follow to the core. I play it a few times, beat the game, and then I move on because GTA is not my type of jam to really play every single day. There is people out there and the people who watch me on my streams who play GTA for nearly every single day, which I don't blame you. But, like I said, GTA do have its greatness, but it also does have its fault. Does have its fall downs. Now, let me just tell you really quickly GTA started very, very way, way back with Windows and also on the PlayStation 1. Then it got some great upgrades, and then it got some downgrades, then it got to another upgrade, then it went back down to downgrade, and then it made one of the most biggest sell sellouts of all times on the gaming industry and, make and breaking records and selling millions upon millions of, coffee of copies and killing the online industry on gaming well done to you Grand Theft Auto for doing that but now it's time for me to have my own words or thoughts on GTA itself what is my favorite what is my least favorite there are over I think there's around about 15 games overall in Grand Theft Auto yeah 15 games in GTA but I went a little down to 10 because a good couple a good couple of games are connected to the actual main series so they're like DLCs and everything so I'm gonna comp complete them into one sitting as a number because they're pretty much the same thing just a few little differences that's all so let's get ourselves started with number 10 but before we do let me tell you really quick on what I'm gonna look at within GTA GTA of course you're also known it's known for its cheats what type of codes are in it and how much stuff you could do in it. I think it's amazing to really look at GTA like that because everybody's done that in the past and they still do it to this very day. Number two, the story. GTA does have story, so you might as well go ahead and play it and see what happens. And number three, I'm only doing three here because it can't do five cents for this because it, it would take me for freaking ever. Number three, of course, the characters. How memorable they are and how freaking good are they? So, let's get, start let's get ourselves started with number 10 with my least favorite GTA game of all time and the first one it is it is GTA Advanced a lot of you may not know what this is I freaking do this came out on the Game Boy Advance and boy oh boy what a piece of shit it is uh, stories wishy-washy controls are shit as anything and it's in a bird's eye view nothing else to really say about it it's god awful if you guys have, haven't played this game I'd definitely encourage you guys to give this thing a miss, 100%. Number 9 is the originator of all GTA, the one that pretty much brought it to the map. Grand Theft Auto 1, which I'm also including Grand Theft Auto London 1996, I mean 1969 I meant, and the 1961 if I remember what it was called, yeah. All three of them are pretty much exactly the same. In, because it's all pretty much connected to Grand Theft Auto 1, except for the, the other two games are in London. But they're pretty much exactly the same. They came out almost exactly the same time of year and almost the same month. It came out, I think it was like a little tiny branch on when the last one came out after it. It's a bird's eye view, which I hate in GTA. It is the worst thing they've done. But don't get me wrong, this was the beginning, so they still had to work things out. But there was no story don't know any of the characters really and it's pretty much not really about anything like that it was mainly running over people and gaining points and doing missions to get points it was pretty much like an arcade game and I did not like that in GTA and to be honest as well it had a massive uproar in the United Kingdom with this game it literally on the day it got released this is the true story on the day it got released it got banned massively and then of course, a few years later, it got unbound, unbanned because they made GTA 2. So, things happen for a reason. Next up for number 8, GTA 2, the sequel. It got better, don't get me wrong. Better graphics, better mechanics and everything like that. But still, it was in bird's eye view. Not really known well for its characters. Nobody, I don't really even remember any of the characters in the game. And once again, 
it's a score, it's a pretty much like an arcade game. It's mainly known for getting points. No money or really anything. You finally get proper guns for God's sakes, thankfully, because they've got uh, a few things in it. Cheese as well, I don't remember being any cheese in it. I really don't find it. It was just literally go into a car, run people over, do missions, stay away from a cop and that's it. It was the first time ever that GTA finally put a health bar in your system, but it only had five hearts. So after you got hit five times, that was it, you're dead. And also having the um, star points for for the police, I think they only did up to three, not five. So it was quite easy for you getting bombarded with a load of cops. But still, GTA 2, it's still not a very good game. And once again, it's another GTA game I'd encourage you guys to definitely miss out. The next one is Grand Theft Auto The China Wars. Uh, yeah, this game. One of the best ones that is in a bird's eye view. Hands down. Came on the Nintendo DS. I didn't buy it on the Nintendo DS. I actually bought it on my mobile phone a long, long time ago. And I played hours on it. A lot of hours. And once again, the characters are quite memorable. I remember doing a lot of things in it. And it was the only time a Grand Theft Auto game really started to do something I think was a bit shifty. And that was actually dealing drugs for profit or for disprofit. So... Mm, has a bit of mother shape shifting for a lot of children playing this game and it really has happened to a lot of people and also it got banned in a lot of countries as well because of the amount of drug dealing that was in the game it was freaking crazy but still the story was really good I enjoyed the story a lot the cheat codes I remember getting the cheat codes because I have a Game Boy Shark um, a Nintendo Shark you know the game cheat the I cheat cartridge that you had on the Nintendo DS because on the mobile phone, I don't think you could put cheats on it, I don't remember. But I knew I had a DS version a few years later and I put it on. Infinite health, infinite armor, freaking rocket launcher, freaking blowing everything out and actually having an infinite amount of drugs so I can make shit tons of money. If I remember, the game shark that I had didn't really have the infinite money, which was a massive letdown. Next up for the list for number 6, because that's why I'm saying Grand Theft Auto China Wars is definitely my number 7. Best of the best of the bird's eye view games, but still not one of the greats. Number 6 is Grand Theft Auto 3. Once again, this was the very, very first Grand Theft Auto that was not in a bird's eye view. This was something new, it was fresh, and thank the lord they did this, Rockstar. Because it finally put an actual story into the game. And also, it was a full worldwide range of maps. You could go all over the city without even looking at a bird's eye view. It had texture, it had 3D models, it had character. And it was the first time ever having cheats in GTA. And I can really say the cheats in my eyes weren't as good. I don't think they were just as good. It was the first time ever having actually cheats in the game, but... Don't get me wrong, the things that were in that game was beyond questioning. It had too many bugs. And I know a lot of people can say out there, cheats make the game fun. True, but do you really want a game that can actually glitch that bad and actually destroy your game? I have three copies of Grand Theft Auto 3 and two of them are broken because of the glitching. The third one, I don't really play now because I'm scared of it breaking. So. That's the main reason why it's a bit lower down the list, but still, first time having a 3D GTA, you can't go wrong with it. It's definitely a good game, give it a play, but be careful of the glitches. Number 5 is GTA Stories. Now this is something completely different. This is, doesn't have a number. This is pretty much a storytelling game of two different areas, because I'm putting two games in this in this chart right now. Which is the stories of Liberty City, which to be honest, was one of my childhood favourites. And also the Vice City stories. Vice City was a letdown for me. Did not like it, did not like any of the characters. The cheat codes were absolutely terrible. Didn't like any of them. Except for, of course, Dragon Leather Tank, which was awesome. But a lot of the codes were so freaking unresponsible. I just didn't enjoy it. On the other hand, though, Liberty City made the game absolutely flawless. Great characters, great story, fantastic cheats, and as well, 
yeah, the few things about it can be buggy, and yes, this one has glitched a lot, but thankfully this was the only GTA game that I have that never broke because of the cheats. It mainly crashed, turned it back on, it was back to normal. No save, no save data corruption, nothing like that, so I was quite happy with it. And I can actually say this was the only Grand Theft Auto that I went beyond hours. Playing it for so many hours once when I was a kid with my brothers. So definitely, GTA Stories definitely has a bit of a warm situation in my heart. That's why it's number five. Number four is GTA Vice City. This is when story started to become more popular with Grand Theft Auto. It was more turning into a, like an L.A. noir type of crime, gangsters type of film game, which I do like because we have that nowadays. We have the Mafia stories, we have L.A. noirs, we have a lot of great gangster films as well. So this was like, to me, I think it was like the beginning of video games becoming a great showcase for movie-based games. I could probably thank this game because it was made and was paying homage to game to films like The Godfather and The Good Feathers. But also with that, you had also the very knockoff gangster films that you have back in the United Kingdom, like the Smoking Gun Barrels, or you have yourself a lot of video a lot of films that were made by Vin Diesel. So things like that. But besides that though. You can't go wrong though, when the cheats are not very responsive again. I've had no problem playing Vice City today. Playing it a few times, don't mind me, it was a very fun game. But the cheats are nowadays are extremely clunky and are annoying. But still though, I can't say that Vice City is a terrible game, it's an amazing game. Fantastic story, fantastic graphics, and it was smooth as anything. And I definitely do remember a lot of the characters because they were so funny and very unique. So, Vice City is my number four. Number three, number two and number one are my top tier ones, okay? These are the best of the best. These ones that I would play all day long if I had the chance and I have a day off when I'm not doing anything like live streaming or doing anything at all. If I'm literally free all day and I can't be bothered doing anything, I'll play these. But I rarely have a chance. Number three is GTA 4. Now GTA 4 is connected with a lot of stuff. It has uh, so many DLCs. Of course you have GTA the... Let me read the papers again. The Lost and the Damned. That was a great DLC and also one of my favourite DLCs it ever made. And that was the Ballad of Gay Tony. That DLC was funny, it was entertaining and it was freaking epic. Loved it to death. And to be honest, the character in GTA 4, the main character, I really did like. A Russian. A lot of people, this was like the time in GTA was like, oh yeah, terrorists and everything. Like the Russian terrorists and the Al-Qaeda's and all that lot. It was flooding into GTA 4. So they had to make this right. And boy, they got it right. Cheats were fantastic. Including the PC mods was so funny. But you can't go wrong with the standard PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 cheats because they were just so good too. So pretty much, yeah, GTA 4 is definitely worth my third place spot. Number 5, on the other hand, a lot of you guys may hate me. A lot of you guys may thank me that it's number number 1. And that's GTA 5, the brand new one. Literally the one that has sold billions upon billions of dollars all over the world. One of the biggest franchises that made the game show the light to everyone about gaming. But it does have its flaws. Because I'm not counting it on this list, but the online servers in this game, once again I'm saying it to myself, is toxic. Extremely toxic. I think not as toxic as Fortnite, but still is toxic. But if you do have a group of friends with you, or people who you actually know and who are actually normal, it could be a fun time playing it online. But besides the online stuff, let's get into the main part of it. The, the cheats on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, smooth, easy to do. However, what escalated to be absolutely amazing and hilarious as anything was the ones on the PC. 
changing your characters to anybody you want. You can have your main character to be Willy Wonka, SpongeBob SquarePants, a cat, or even Kiryu Kazuma. Anybody you want to be, they can put it in this game. And it makes it so much fun and a lot more funny. But besides that though, the main characters, I do like too. I do like all three of them. I, I'm, terrible, I'm, I'm terribly sorry though, I'm don't, not very good at remembering names. Like I said, I'm crap at remembering them. But I do remember them very well as their personas that they were using. Because in GTA 5, if I remember, this is what I picture GTA 5 if you put all three of these characters. You have this first character who is pretty much like straight out, straight out of Compton. You have another person who looks like he's just come out of Breaking Bad. And then the other, you have the other fella who is pretty much just looks like he just come out of Kim Kardashian. He just looks like he looks like he was in um, the Kardashian show. Put all three of them together, you got GTA 5. <laughs> but still, to, in my eyes, though, it's a great game. Fantastic story, to be honest. And you can play as three different characters and you can change their appearances, which I think is absolutely perfect. But it still leaves me with number one. And of course, it's everybody's favourite in my eyes. I think it's everybody's favourite. And that is the classic San Andreas. GTA San Andreas. This game is amazing. I don't care what people say that it's too that it's too old, it's clunky as anything, it still has a lot, a lot of fans, fans wanting this game to be remastered properly. And I'm talking about actually remastering. I want this remastered properly. Not not a normal HD remaster, I'm talking about change the models, change the map, change everything in this game to make it as a proper new game for the PS5 and for the Xbox Series X. Or is that Xbox Series 1? It's one of the two. Don't, I'm terrible that. Xbox, change your name for God's sakes. But besides that though, the cheats, fantastic. Love the cheats. And it was the first time ever they can actually change the mods of the characters at random. You could be an old lady hitting a cop. You could be a child hitting a cop. You can even be a, a um, killer clown in the game. It's absolutely funny. The weapons are a great choice. And it was the first ever game franchise of San Andreas. This was the only game from the GTA series that made a lot, a lot of YouTubers famous because they were using different character mods in this game, making little tiny movie stories on YouTube. And I still watch them nowadays because I still find them funny and fascinating. But besides that though, of course you have yourself the, the amazing characters, CJ, Smokey, I love three number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, and a large soda. Classic. It's the most, one of the most biggest memes out there in the world. But also, besides that though, the story is fantastic. I love the story. If you guys who are mainly, pretty much, I know there's pretty much two different communities with GTA. You have the GTA community who just go ahead and make absolute chaos. Then you have the ones who mainly focus on the story. For the ones who do the chaos, put that on pause for it. You can do that anytime you want. Concentrate on the story. The story, in my eyes, is absolutely phenomenal. So I definitely say to you guys, if you're not played the, if you're not played GTA San Andreas, give it a go. I definitely encourage you. You can also buy it on the PlayStation 4 store. I think you can on the PlayStation 5 and also on Xbox. On PC, I know you can. So that's my top tier list. My least favorite GTA game is the advanced one from Game Boy Advance. But my favorite is of course San Andreas. If there's any other ranking videos you want me to, to want me to do, please leave in the comments down below. I'll definitely watch them all. I'll definitely look at the comments all day long. I'll give you a heart as well if I like it. With that being said, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit the bell icon to get yourself notified when we're uploading or live streaming. With that being said, the people on Sleep goes to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!